Hi, and welcome to this overview of SmartArt in Microsoft PowerPoint 2007. We're going to begin with an overview of SmartArt and what it is. This is a powerful and dynamic new graphics tool as a part of Microsoft Office 2007. It gets a lot of mileage in PowerPoint, and that's the application in which we're going to take a look at it. SmartArt is a quantum leap in graphical richness and ease of use compared to previous versions of diagram tools contained within Microsoft PowerPoint or within the rest of Microsoft Office. SmartArt exists in every application in Microsoft Office 2007 and can be copied and pasted from one application to the next. For example, from PowerPoint into Word or from PowerPoint into Excel. SmartArt does not exist in previous versions of Microsoft Office. If you wish to save your Microsoft Office 2007 file as Microsoft Office 97 through 2003 version, your SmartArt will be downsampled into a non-editable flat image. SmartArt in Office 2007 is editable. It can always be modified or changed. But if you save as Office 97 through 2003, you cannot edit or change the smart art because at that point it merely becomes a picture. Let's take a look at how we can insert smart art into a slide. To insert smart art into your PowerPoint slide, simply go to the insert tab on the ribbon and choose smart art. Now you'll need to choose a type. Let's go with the process. and OK. Another way to create SmartArt is to convert existing text in a slide. All you have to do is highlight the text and go up to the paragraph group on the home tab on the ribbon and click on the convert to SmartArt graphic button. Clicking on this opens up the gallery of SmartArt and lets you choose a SmartArt type. If you need more than what you see here you can always click on more SmartArt graphics. Live preview will come into play. And there you have it. Entering text and adding shapes to a smart art is easy. All you have to do is click on the shape and type. Like so. If you like, you can also add text by using the bulleted list on the left side of the screen. This acts like any other bulleted list. In my third shape, for example, I can click in here and add another piece of information. And if I wish to add a shape in between the acquisition and the second sale box, I can just go up to the previous line and press enter, just like I would on a regular bulleted list. Shapes can also be added in from the tabs on the ribbon. For example, if I wish to add a shape here, I can select the shape and go up to my Design tab in the SmartArt Tools and click Add Shape. I can add shape after or add shape before. Let's add a shape before. Now I can add text either directly in the graphic or by using the bulleted list over on the left. If you want to modify the appearance of SmartArt, just head up to the SmartArt Styles Gallery in the Design Contextual tab, which appears under the SmartArt Tools group. By simply pointing to these with your mouse, Live Preview will show you what they look like. You can click on one to choose it. If you want to change the overall color scheme, just head on over here to Change Colors and pick from among your options. If you want to get extra fancy, you can select SmartArt Shapes, hold the Shift key down as you click to select all of them after the first one, and then you can go to your Format Contextual tab up here and choose specific effects to apply. For example, maybe I'd like for these to have a reflection. If you want to try your SmartArt in a different format altogether, then go to the Design Contextual tab at the top, and instead of changing styles or colors, 
what you're going to do is change layout. Now the layouts that you have here are going to at first be related or similar to the kind of smart art that you have already created. However, you can always change it into a completely different type if you want to. You can simply click on more layouts for example and choose an entirely different kind. Let's say for example that what I really want is for this to be a cycle diagram instead. SmartArt is a powerful, dynamic, and versatile tool in Microsoft PowerPoint 2007 and indeed all of Microsoft Office 2007. It makes graphics creation and diagrams creation far easier, more productive and efficient, and much better looking than in the past. Thanks for watching.